Today we're going to look at an alternative view to multiplying binomials. So far you may have learned FOIL, first, outer, inner, last. You may also have learned double distribution. Well, we're going to use an area model today to learn how to multiply binomials. So we have our two binomials, 2x plus 3 times x plus 4. And we all know if we have a rectangle, to find the area of a rectangle, we do length times width. So if I use 2x plus 3 as the length of one side, and I use x plus 4 as the length of the other side of the rectangle, I'm going to break this rectangle into parts and find the area of each part. So I have the length here of 2x times the length of x. Length times width, 2x times x gives me 2x squared. Again, this area of this small rectangle is 3 by x. If this length is x, then we know opposite sides are equal, so this length has to be x. 3 times x gives me 3x. Same again, if this side is 2x, opposite sides are equal, this side has to be 2x by 4, 2x times 4 is 8x, and lastly, 4 by 3, 4 times 3 gives me an area of 12. What do we do with all these terms now that we have them? We combine like terms, and then we'll be done with the problem. So we look. Do we have any like terms in all of these? We have 2. 2x squared stands alone. 8x and 3x together combine to give me 11x and the 12 also stands alone. So here is my new trinomial. It is the answer to multiplying these binomials. So let's look at one more example. Write this example down. I want you to pause the video and give this problem a try on your own. Welcome back. We will write down the side lengths x minus 4 and 2x minus 6. Notice the minus sign. Don't forget that minus sign. Remember that x minus 4 is the same as adding the opposite. x minus 4 and x plus a negative 4 are the same thing. So we need to make sure we keep that negative on the 4. So again, we do the area of each small section. 2x by x gives me 2x squared. 2x times negative 4 is negative 8x. Negative 6 times x is negative 6x. And negative 6 times negative 4 is a positive 24. Again, I look to combine like terms. I have two terms that can be combined. The 2x squared stands alone. Negative 8x plus negative 6x is negative 14x plus 24. And I have completed the problem.